And now for the Monero development segment. Hey, how have you been? Hey, how's it going, Conrad? Nothing much. Well, it, the full break is over, sadly. So I have, I will have so much more things to do. Next oh, week. you you had a break from school? Uh, yeah, this week was a full break. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Well, I'm sure you got you got to enjoy it, right? You got to. Uh... Yeah. Well, basically, uh, currently in Hungary, the winter and the fall breaks uh, are a bit longer than usual because the the government doesn't want to pay the schools for uh, the heating. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, so they're they're, well, they're, they're... It, ha Hungary is is about. Forty-five thousand. Uh, let me let me convert it because in in EU and in Hungary the billions and the millions are uh, messed up. <laughs> One second. Thousand. I think this much. So one second. About this much. Wait one second. That's that much of what? No, uh, so forty five thousand billion uh, huf in in debt. The government, like the whole state, Hungary. Oh, the <laughs> the GDP. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, well, not the GDP, the the whole country, and uh, they are forcing they not forcing but. Uh, Recommending parents to buy the Hungary, uh, Hungarian the go government stock to replenish that money, which is uh, stolen from the governmental, uh, well, safe bank. I, I don't know what to call it because uh, our government is not a bit, but far more corrupt than it, it's seen from other parts of the world. So just another corrupt government. All right. Yes. Uh, well, let, let's 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 focus on uh, the yeah. things that we we do have some understanding, yeah. which is yeah. Panera. So, so uh, I've got some words on the uh, CCS too. So uh, as well, Alaska, okay. we'll we'll talk about that later. Sure. If you want to sure. Present, sure. Uh, this week's dev report. Sure. I know we're going to talk about the Seraphis wallet. I guess before you. Because somebody had posted an update on that. If you could just give us an update on the Seraphis wallet, maybe if you want to first talk about what Seraphis is, and then you could mention what what the Seraphis wallet project is. Sure. Uh, so Seraphis and uh, Gemtis really the next hard fork uh, of Monero, which was uh, expected to be uh, around next year, maybe Q two or three, but that won't happen, uh, as the developer said. Maybe a year later, I I think it it will be around uh, twenty uh, twenty five Q one or two maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so basically the improvements uh, are privacy focused. So uh, as you see, the ring sizes uh, really uh, expanded to uh, one to eight decoys instead of sixteen. So that that's a really big jump in in decoys. Uh, simplified addresses, well, not ba not so simplified because the, currently we have ninety five character addresses, and that will be around two hundred characters. But uh, the main address, sub addresses, and in integrated addresses will be replaced with uh, one address, and uh, that will have uh, an RID, a recipient uh, uh, address, which you can identify the address by. So you don't have to read the whole address in 200 characters to compare it to the one that you are trying to send. So maybe crypto clippers, you know, you have to uh, uh, verify that the address you are sending to is the one that you want to send to. Uh, it's it will be uh, much more modular than the current version of Monero, 
so they won't have to do uh, so much hard forks uh, from now on, but they will be uh, able to implement the changes easier. Uh, there will be support for view-only wallets, uh, so people will be only able to see outgoing transactions uh, and not incoming ones, because currently we only have incoming uh, view-only support. Right, they'll be able to see both now. With, yes, with, yeah. yes. Uh, the third-party transaction scanning services uh, that can see the transaction amounts, I kind of don't get what that would be, but I'm... Yeah, that's like, uh, that's like my Monero right now has the my Monero yeah. server, which uses the view key. So yeah. they'll, they'll, now they'll be able to use this new, this new essentially, view key that's going to be created with Seraphis, uh, but to do it in a more privacy preserved. Yeah, I, I'll be fascinated to see that. And of course, the simplified generation of new addresses, uh, which of course used be, uh, will be used by shop software, like the bazaar that uh, you want to create. Yes. Cool. And then so, all right, so what's this? What's this? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, so what, what is the Seraphis uh, wallet that we've been hearing about? And then I think this week there was a post giving an update on it. We can skip forward to that and we will get back. So basically the Seraphis wallet would be a code in the core Monero uh, implementation, which would help wallets like Monero, Monero uh, Cake and other wallets like Monero GUI implement surface and the surface uh, address mechanics uh, in all way. Currently, as, as they say, it will be one year old, but uh, they haven't had uh, much done about it currently. Mm -hmm. But uh, they they will fasten up their projects uh, in the second year, so 2024. So uh, as I said, maybe it will be done in 2025, Q1, Q2, maybe Q3, but that's not fixed yet. So basically, uh, the designer UKO HB uh, and the inventor surface uh, sets about, as you see, two years uh, to implement Surface and Gemtis, but that won't happen, uh, as said previously. And uh, he haven't had the uh, the competence to to do it, as as you can see here. So they invited uh, more developers to, to help in the project, but uh, much of them quit because they haven't had the competence either to, it, the, to do it. But Jay Berman, uh, Dangerous Freedom, and the other ones are cur currently uh, trying to fasten up the process. So Jay, Jay, Jay Berman created a scanner uh, which reads uh, through the blockchain uh, from a specific height. And uh, it uh, almost sorts or finds uh, all the uh, outputs that belong to uh, given Monero address satire. Uh, yeah, b basically a software that scans the the blockchain and sorts out all, all the outputs from a given address. Okay, uh, so ba basically, it's um, it's this this new part of the protocol that they're developing. So uh, those devel developers that are creating actual wallets that applications will be able to, to use this, this, this new wallet portion of the Monero protocol. Yeah. So basically it's, it's not a wallet, wallet app, uh, which uh, surface is creating, but rather, rather a code in the Monero core, which will be able to be implemented uh, in the other wallets like Mineruju, uh, Cake, uh, Ananero, and the others. So they will be able to support Surface and Gemtis updates. Awesome. Exciting to see. Yeah, I guess uh, they didn't make as much progress as they were hoping to make, but it looks like they're you know still steadfast. And it, it, they made it, from my reading of it, they made it sound like they're ready to now make some significant progress moving yes yeah, so as as written 
here almost. Uh, there is no, I, I can't, can't seem to find, find it, but there, there is no prototype yet. So we are far from ready to, to have Surface implemented, but I, I think they are trying really hard and fast to, to be able to release it. But uh, in its current form, Mono is, is not vulnerable. Uh, so much that it it would require surface, so it's it just an addition. What we will have in the future, so no reason to worry. All right, good stuff, man. Good stuff, and I'm sure we'll have uh, you know some of these characters on the show again soon. Uh, Jay Berman can. We'll, I'm sure we'll get him on soon. He could give us uh, updates on what's going on. Uh, we'd love to get Co on again soon. Here was. And, and also, we, we need to get Tavador too. Yes, 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 yes. We tried. I don't. I don't think he. <laughs> I don't think he's really looking to be public. I'm right not now. sure. <laughs> yeah. We had him on years ago. Uh, he uh, via voice only, and when we were when Random X was first being implemented, uh, we reached out to him recently. I don't think he wants to jump on. But yeah, we yeah we he, he does tremendous tremendous work in the Monero community. Um, yeah, I agree. Now he's he's be a big part of the Seraphis implementation, so all all exciting things. And I know I know um, Jay Berman actually gave a presentation yesterday, or I guess it was Thursday in Chicago at the Monero meetup. I think we'll mention that la later in the show, uh, but I'm sh I assume this is some of what he talked about. So I don't know if that's if that was recorded. I hope it was, and then we could. We could all tune into that and see what he had to say, but like I said, I'll try to get him on on a, on a full Monero talk too to get an update. Nice. I I think we can get back to the uh, frequently asked questions about Surface. So, as the first one uh, said on their website, uh, VLD XMR address uh, uh, change in use of people. Yes, it, it will be uh, because the ninety uh, five character addresses will be uh, changed by a about 200 character one. Uh, will result in a new and old Monero such as in Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. It's not likely because then we would have two Moneros and it would be a mess. <laughs> uh, will the old coins be uh, spendable too? So the I think they are referring to the coins uh, before Surface, like currently. Yes, it, it it will be usable, and they want they don't want anyone to lo lose their cash, probably. Uh, the current seed phase uh, will still work because they they don't change uh, the mechanics of Monero from that side. So the seed phase will be still the same, but it won't refer to. Uh, the current 95 character public address. Uh, the mechanics of Monero mining won't be changed, so miners don't need to change anything uh, other than their address in the mining mining software. Uh, and if someone mistake would mistakenly somehow send X Martin all address, uh, that couldn't ha happen because the wallets that uh, will have Surface implemented will be. Uh, limited to only surface addresses, so they won't be able to send uh, one error to other 95 character old addresses. Um, how will someone be able to check the address that uh, they sent to uh, if it will be 200 charts long, characters long? Uh, as as I previously previously mentioned, there will there will be an IIRID identifier. Uh, which will be a 25 char character alphanumerical uh, text that will look like something like this. I think it's even better than a current Monero ad address because you can see it through because of the dashes. Mm -hmm. uh, the new Surface Wallet uh, will be able to read Monero uh, worth files. So cur the current Monero Wallet files uh, we'll be able to read in by the surface wallet, probably. Uh, but I think they have no reason uh, to make it not 
get the file of the current Monero wallets. Yeah, and will, will someone be able to send more funds to an existing paper wallet? So as as mentioned, paper and any other wallet seed phrases won't change, but the the 95 characters uh, long uh, addresses will. So in order to in order for someone to send uh, their funds to a paper wallet, they would have to recover their paper wallet using their seed to get the new 200 character mm. address. So yeah, yeah. That, that, that would differ. Uh, Basically, you have to create another paper wallet to send your funds to, and then you can use it like that way. All right, good, good stuff, man. Yeah, ba basically, uh, you know that those that have old, old Monero seed seeds laying around, you, you know, like what we said earlier, you, you might want to move your Monero anyway. Uh, but you don't have to worry about it. It's not like you know that the seeds are being deprecated. It's just the the actual addresses. So. For yep. example, we have a Monero address, donation address posted on our show. Uh, once Seraphis is implemented, that address is no longer going to work. You'll, you'll no longer be able to send Monero to that address. We're going to have to update that with the new uh, Jamtis Seraphis yep. and, address. Uh, we, uh, have, we put addresses on our gratuitous coffee bags for people to donate. Those addresses are no longer going to work. Uh, but the Monero that's that's going to these addresses, it's still there. It's not going to disappear. As long as you have your seed, you're good to go. Nothing's changing with your seed phrase. And you'll be able to generate new addresses from those seed phrases. And likely there will be a phase where both uh, current and Jamtis addresses will be uh, usable as the user is the best beta tester. I'd recommend the most people to use their current addresses when that phase happens because uh, anything, any bugs could result to loss of funds. All right, let's move on. I see everybody's waiting to talk about the, the big topic. So we're going to move, move ahead. All right, man? Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks just, again. Just the, basic, just the basic uh, projects yeah. to look for and... And of course, the surface and jump this what we are still waiting on Luke uh, to come on the show. He still doesn't have time because of work. Uh, but I'll try to get him some work through uh, a person that I, I know. And uh, of course, the stats of the Monero at the moment is writing. Finally, uh, the hash rate uh, stopped dropping oh. and it stayed the same. Wait, stop showing the thing. Comrade, That's we're going to move along, man. Um... So, sure. You know, let's move along to the next segment. I see people getting impatient. They want to talk about the CCF. And we'll continue to talk about Seraphis. We'll talk about it, I'm sure, a lot a lot more as we get closer to the implementation. And we'll get the actual devs on to give uh, presentations or we'll be doing full Monero talks with them. Comrade Matt, appreciate it. Thank you. Stick around if you can to talk about the CCS hack and all that stuff. All right. Awesome. I, I'll I'll be here. So, all right, cool. All right, cool. Thanks.